Uh, I am happy to welcome you all to Ayuka for this uh, Science Day 2024. I use this opportunity to, to summarize various activities we have carried out in the past one year. Uh, in particular, various uh, developments and things like that. So there are two main events that has happened in this uh, year in uh, related to astronomy and space science. One is the approval of LIGO India, uh, which is the third detector to detect very faint gravitational waves, which will be situated close to uh, Pune in Maharashtra. The second thing is uh, related to launch of Aditya L1, where uh, one is going to continuously look at sun for 24 by 7. Okay? Now, when we come to gravitational wave, so Ayuka has played a very major role in the detection of gravitational waves. For example, uh, you need a very powerful computers to detect these weak signals. And we have set up uh, what you call high performance computers called Sarthi, which, uh, which is in the international network, which contributes about 20% of computing resources and it helps us detect the gravitational waves. If you want to understand, if you, in, 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 in the Earth, if you detect five gravitational wave signals, at least one is detected from Ayuka, if you want to see this way. So that is one of the major milestones. And uh, we are extending these uh, uh, resources to a larger extent so that uh, our community will benefit from all the detections which are happening across the country, across the world. It's not only in, uh, in India, we will use all the resources, like uh, two LIGO detectors in US and one more in Europe, etc. The next thing I, I want to focus on is related to uh, space astronomy. And as, as I mentioned before, Aditya L1 uh, will soon be reaching its destination. And we will be uh, receiving important scientific signals and uh, Ayuka will play a major role in distributing these signals to members uh, of astronomy community across the country, in particular in universities. In the meantime, this year we played a major role in distributing data coming out of already existing uh, observatory called AstroSat. And you will be very happy to know that out of uh, 100 papers published during this year, more than 35 has come from university sectors, mainly due to Ayuka's engagement with this community. Ayuka also plays a very important role in bringing resources uh, from across the world to the Indian community. For example, see we have uh, an observatory which is running in, uh, in South Africa called SALT. Ayuka members are also generating huge amount of radio astronomy data through a telescope in South Africa called Meerkat. And the first data release of uh, uh, this project has happened this year. So there are about uh, millions of radio sources have been detected through our survey. And this survey data is now available for public to do the analysis and further research. Similarly, Ayuka members are participating in uh, projects uh, uh, related to uh, Subaru telescope. Okay, the, it is collecting huge amount. Of, it, 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 it does deep images of the sky and generate catalogs of objects in the sky. And these positions and properties of the objects are listed and the data are released to public. And now anybody can, starting from general public to scientists at the highest level, can use this data to perform uh, their research. So this is a very important resources because uh, uh, one need not go to the telescope and perform observations because all these things are done and it is made available to public for, for various other purposes. Okay? When, uh, when one is participating in this kind of big telescopes project, for example, Ayuka will, is engaged in 30 meter telescope project, LIGO India, SKA, all of them are now in approved stages and we are going to get data. It is absolutely essential that we also develop community to, uh, to take uh, full advantage of 
these data which are collected through these various facilities. So Ayuka is planning various programs starting from uh, popularizing these uh, projects to school children, college children at to the extent of inducting various PhD programs uh, on these topics guided by people in universities as well as people in Ayuka. Okay? Uh, another aspect which is relevant for us is that one has to appreciate because uh, in astronomy objects are in the sky and we are not going to go close to them to see what is going on. So whatever observations one is seeing, if you really want to extract what is happening in these regions or what is the physics behind these activities which we are seeing, it is important that we perform these exercises through computer simulations. Because just by looking at objects, one will not be able to understand what is going on in the universe. So Ayuka has set up a high performance computing facility where people simulate uh, what exactly is happening in the sky in the computers. For example, if two black holes collide with each other, what are the results out of this collision? Or if there is a jet which is coming from object like quasars or pulsars or, or a, any small uh, compact object, how it is going to interact with the surrounding medium. And also one is able to produce starting from the initial condition, how universe is created. So all these simulations are now carried out in Ayuka. And uh, I'm happy to announce that there are several important results have come out of uh, uh, this computing work carried out in Ayuka. So this work will be sort of playing a major background using which we will be able to interpret data which is collected from the, from using various uh, telescopes which are available to us. Lastly, I, I would like to say one of the other activity we are carrying out now is to induct various experiments to the colleges. So in India, one of the problem is we study a lot of mathematics, we study theory, but our hands-on experience with instrumentation and uh, experimental setups are not very good. To improve this, Ayuka is designing various courses, experimental courses, which will be first demonstrated in Ayuka and then transported to various uh, uh, universities across the country. So uh, having said all these things, it, it is clear that uh, the coming year is very, going to be very exciting because uh, one is going to engage in all the activities and uh, we are going to enhance the performances and uh, of the various instruments we are using as well as we are going to engage with larger population of people. So it is imperative that uh, our outreach and our reach to the scientific community needs to be increased and we are going to make all effort to reach out to general public as well as scientific community to engage in all the activities in which Ayuka is engaged.